Alright, <clears throat> right, I apologize now for the quality of the video, but I'm shooting with a different camera. I normally shoot with my Galaxy S6, but that's what this test is going to be involving. For the purposes of this test, I have my phone in airplane mode, just to keep uh, things from popping up. <clears throat> Last night I had a conversation with somebody, and what they <laughs> had said something about getting a longer charge cable and my comment was that will this thing actually focus anyway my comment was that a lar a longer cable charges less quickly so what I'm gonna do is this is a short cable I don't know eight or maybe a foot long I'm used to the wider angle of my phone that uh, came with the Amazon Basics battery bank. I use this for charging the battery bank just because of where it goes. I may have to, uh, I'm going to set the camera down while a wild rotella gets in the shot. Actually she's going to try to take the main focus. And the battery bank is fully charged. I actually just pulled it off the charger. So let's see what it says here. I'm going to let it stabilize for a minute or so. It's really hard to tell on this camera if it's out of focus or if it's just... So, uh, looks like it's stabilized at around 860, 840. I know this camera sucks. I know the sound quality on this camera sucks, too. Uh, actually, you know what? I have a different test I'm going to do. Give me one second. Alright, rather than having it plugged into the battery bank, I decided why not use the fast charger that came with my phone. I had to be careful because this might actually fully charge the phone and then uh, cause me to not be able to do the test. And, uh, try to see why this doesn't want to focus. I guess you could say we're stabilized here at 730 milliamps, 720. So let's try the cable that came with my phone. This is about a four foot or so cable. But I have to set you down again. So let's plug that back in. It's going to take a minute or so to stabilize. And we'll see the... However, this one is fast charge rated, obviously, if it came with the phone. And this one, again, is sitting right at 7.30, I cannot seem to get this thing. I mean, I can't tell if that's just that it won't. Although right now we are at 6.30, 6.10. 590. Uh, let's see, does this say. This does say fast charging, and it has popped up quite a bit. And it's just dropping. I don't know if this is really a good scientific test. 670. And it's dropping. I'm going to check something else real quick. Okay, so I'm using a different 
application and this one is using this small cable at it was just at 867 for quite a while now it's down to 836 milliamps and it claims that it's fast charged now it's 821 what I do believe is happening is because my battery is quite full at 92% it's starting to slow down the charge but it is saying quick charging at the moment what I'm going to do is each time I plug this in I'm going to run it for a minute because that's about what I had it plugged in there so uh, right now I'm at at 52 seconds so I'm just gonna say well actually you know at this point I might as well just say once this hits two minutes it is uh, this longer cable this is the one that came with the phone it's showing 820 <clears throat> We'll see if we learn anything here. I mean, who knows? <laughs> and then I got Rotella playing right over there asleep. I feel my phone's going to end up fully charged by the end of this. I believe that's the microphone right there. I don't want to block that. At this point, it looks pretty much the same. So now, uh, the cable I'm going to plug in now, this actually came with my T-Mobile G2 back in late 2011, maybe. Yeah, I think, well, late 2010, early 2011. And, uh, still a good quality cable. I'm going to plug this in. So at about 3.30, we'll see what what this is at. What did I just do? Okay. This one's, this one's about three feet long or so. I just also want to throw an older cable in just to see if... Uh, if anything changed now this one is already lower actually I think this one's about the same length well it's a little bit shorter than the one that came with the phone and uh, <clears throat> it's it's not as stable though it is being pretty stable around yeah, it's dropped down under 700. I don't know if you can even see that or not. I don't know if I should uh, turn my screen brightness down some. Yeah, that helps a little bit. But yeah, this is under 700 milliamps now. Now this is a 6 foot Amazon Basics cable. This one actually stays hooked to my main computer. It, uh... I this is what what I use for connecting my phone eh, I can't do this one-handed so let's see what this is this is charging under 700 already I don't like I like I said at the beginning of this I'm not claiming this to be a all-conclusive test this is just something that was on my mind, and I said, you know what, if I'm going to test this, I might as well share it with my uh, YouTube followers. I can't really say we learned anything here, although this longer cable is definitely charging slower. It's actually charging the slowest of them all. Like, these are all... Now, I, you know, it's funny, I actually take pretty well care of my uh, cables for some reason. 
I might not take care of everything else, but the cables, they seem to stay pretty good shape. So this is already down to 605. 625. I can't say whether or not we learned anything here. But, hey, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. And actually right now, I'm, uh, I don't have it in airplane mode like I did at the beginning of the thing, but, uh, <clears throat> Now we're under 600, we're at 590. And it still claims fast charging, and it actually is charging pretty quick, because I'm already up to 94%. <clears throat> so I think for right now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and get this thing, get all my stuff hooked back up the way I normally have it. And uh, go ahead and say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a blessed day.